In recent months, President Bola Tinubu's frequent foreign trips have sparked growing frustration among Nigerians as the country battles with economic uncertainty. Many view these travels as ill-timed and disconnected from the present domestic challenge. Abdullahi Ahmed breaks down the reasons behind the president's frequent trips abroad and why they are becoming increasingly unpopular in this period of economic hardship. Amid Nigeria's spiraling cost of living, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Vice President Kashim Shatima have collectively spent over 91 days outside the country in just seven months. They have touched down in 16 countries and all this comes at a staggering cost of 18.7 billion naira allocated in the 2024 budget for presidential travels. From France to Ethiopia, Qatar to China, the itinerary is long. In January, the president kicked things off with a private visit to France. By February, he was in Ethiopia for the Africa Union's 37th assembly. By April, it was a whirlwind. Visits to Senegal for an inauguration, Netherlands for high-level talks, then the World Economic Forum in Saudi Arabia, all within a month. In May, it was charged for another inauguration. June saw the president in South Africa for President Ramaphosa swearing in. And by July, the president had attended the Africa Union's coordination meeting in Ghana. Now, then came Equatorial Guinea, another work trip to France and a UAE stopover back in August this year. In September, there was another official visit to China, followed by a United Kingdom meeting with King Charles. And just this month, He's back in France, fresh off another annual leave in the United Kingdom. While diplomacy and securing international deals are essential, critics are asking, at what cost? With 12 billion naira earmarked specifically for these international trips and 6.7 billion naira set aside for local travels, groups like the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center are demanding transparency, especially for private visits when Nigerians are struggling with skyrocketing inflation. The presidency argues that these trips will soon bear fruit with investments on the way. But many Nigerians want tangible results, not just promises.